What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Taking a Risk with George George. And I was just wondering, have you guys ever found yourself in Birmingham, Alabama and you were wondering what the heck are you doing here and what should you be doing here? Well, we took a big risk coming here and this is where we are today. We're at the McWayne Science Center and we're going to be exploring and having fun and learning all kinds of cool things with the kids today and you guys get to come with us. So smash that thumbs up button and let's get to learning. All right, so we just made it to the parking garage we parked, and this is one of the skinniest, slimmest, thinnest parking garages I've ever seen. It makes me think it's really old, and you gotta be extra careful because these corners are tight, and of course there's people walking around, so you gotta be extra careful. All right, so we're here on a Wednesday. Almost at five o'clock is when they close, but we're here at like two, so we got some time to play. All right, getting off the elevator. Ooh, it almost got me. Check this out. Oh wow, they have an IMAX dome just right there. Oh yeah, a Rue Goldberg machine. Very cool. And it's a self-functioning one. It just resets itself. There it goes. It just started. That is awesome. There's so many balls to see. Oh look, they get stuck right there. You gotta wait for another one to get there. And that's where they reset. Wow. Alright, we're waiting on one more ball. Here comes the green one. Boom. Is it enough? Is it enough? It is! All three balls at once. Wow, look at them go. Whoa! I'm focusing on that was cool. I'm focusing on the yellow one. I hope they get to that. Coming down here. I don't know why the elevator's in my head. I just don't know why. There they are. Back to the painting. Alright, and here we are in the lobby. Oh wow, yeah, that's built out of Legos. That looks like the city of Birmingham, which is where we are. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Wow, they did a good job. So that is a model of the Mick Wayne Science Center, which is, that's actually where we are. And the honey's over there getting our tickets. Let's catch up with her and see what there's to do here. Hopefully we have enough time to do everything. All right, so here we are at level one and this is what they have to offer here. They've got a Curious George, let's get curious, a giant lever, and some other stuff that we're just gonna have to discover on our own because that was real quick. All right, we got our admission stickers, and because we par are part of the ASTC, we do get free admission. So remember, this is one of those places. But check this out, the first thing we see. They got Risk right there. It's like a warm welcome, except they spelled it with an S. That's weird. Instead of a Z. Oh, look at that. You guys can lay down on another table of bed nails. One person at a time, 300-pound limit. Lay your head down, Jax. All right, press that button, Evelyn. Give it to your brother. You guys are always trying to hurt each other, so might as well give you a good reason to. Oh wow, this one comes up so far. How was that? Ow. Ow. What do you mean? There is so much to see and do here. Look at Evelyn. Let's see it. Oh, get, you gotta get the muscles. Pull, pull, pull. This is a hard one, honey. You wanna try the easy one? I don't know if there is an easy one. This is probably the easiest one. You just stand still. Oh no, this is the hardest one. That's why it's all tied off and done with. We could try this one. This one's probably harder though. I think that one's going to be the easiest one. So there's hard, hardest, and harder. What? Where's the easy ones? <laughs> oh, but there's the Curious George Get Curious area. You want to let them get curious over here? This is going to be awesome, but I'm going to go check out something real quick. I got to talk to a man about a horse. All right, so here's a better idea of the things you can do here. There are four floors. We are on floor one. And on this floor, you've got the lobby, you've got the Curious George, you've got the Rushton Science Theater, the Bubble Room, the IMAX Dome Theater, Cool Stuff Store, which is an awesome name for it, the Demonstration Station, and the Workshop. And on the lower level, you've got the School Lunch Rooms, Vending, Water World, which is the Aquascape Theater, Shark and Ray Tank, which we're definitely going to have to go see, Ocean's Journey, River Journey, Second floor, you've got the Itty Bitty Magic City, which I know Jackson is going to love when we get there. The Alabama Dinosaur and Sea Monsters. Evelyn's going to love that. Nature Scope, I'm going to love that. Explore and Alabama Collection Center. Science on a Sphere. Weather Station here on the third floor. And up on the third floor, we got Earth Matters. Rethink the Future, which is still available until May 12th. you got Earth Matters, Event Center, Art and Technology Gallery, and the Classrooms. All right, I'm being subordinate pressured into sitting on the 
bed of nails. Give me a second to get comfortable. All right, honey, hit me. This is the subordinate that's making me do it. <laughs> that evil little smile. God, you're so cute. There it is. Two inches of nails holding this big body up. Are you gonna let me down? Yeah. No! <laughs> it actually doesn't feel bad. It's like pinpointing all of my pressure points. Oh, wow, the drop feels really good. I like that a lot. Thank you for that, Evelyn. That was a nice little yeah, massage. <laughs> but you want to do it with me? You're not going to feel it, only I'm going to feel it. Oh, no, this is like that scene from Aladdin. Oh, my guts are getting crushed. All right, next on our area is this cool. Yes, there it is. I knew it would work. All right. Oh, I'm too big. Oh, maybe I'm too close. Maybe? No, I'm way even bigger now. This is just for little kids, I guess. Look at that, it works perfect for you. For me, I'm just a huge, there we go. I just got, I got to stand all the way against this back wall. Look at that, all the way against the wall that actually does it. I'm way too big, but look. We can get funky and groovy, oh yeah. It's like that dancing from Superbad. You're a good dancer. Oh wow, Evelyn, that was amazing. Oh, it's changing on us. Oh, I like that. Wow, you look like such a big girl. Look, you're almost my height. The closer you get, the bigger you get. Oh no, don't get any bigger, girl. You're breaking my heart. All right, the honey's over here getting her height. Spring, summer, fall. It took some time, but you're five feet tall. No, you are not. Are you standing? Oh, you've got those heels on. Look at those things. They're like six inches tall. Dad, you do it. I am going to do it. Oh, five foot. You're not five foot. You're four, ten, and three quarters. I'm yours. You are, you are three foot eleven inches. That's what it said. All right, it's my turn. Uh oh, who's he talking to? It's calculating your height. Three or not to three? That is the question. The answer is yes. You are two foot three. You're two foot three. <laughs> All right, it's your turn to check your height. Stand up straight. It is my pleasure to say you measure 5 feet 10 inches tall. Oh, wow! Almost 6 feet tall. There is a lot to do on this floor, and I was just doing this basketball thing over here. You can see, got a whole big old hoop and net, and it teaches how to get the perfect swish, and it says a 45 degree angle is perfect. And if you want to know if I was able to do it or not, make sure you go over to our Instagram and our TikTok follow because the honey has that video over there check out this area over here you guys will subscribe and follow and watch all the videos over and over you will you will all right we just got off the elevator again of course there was so much to see there we go it's ending the world of water ending world ending world ending it smells down here it definitely smells like water down here Smells like musty water. World of water. Of course we would come here without our bathing suits. Oh wow, that's beautiful. I'm gonna come check that out in just a second. Wow. Look at those fish. They almost look like fossils to me, but that's definitely not fossils. Oh look, we're already seeing some water. What do they have over here? Oh wow. That is one intense water area back there and it's really cool that you can actually see it all there's so much to do here we definitely came at a bad time it's about 3 30 3 40 right now look jack's a fish tank oh wow look at the yellow tang that is beautiful oh my gosh those are hawaiian fish i used to see them all the time and it's actually illegal to own them i don't know if it's legal here but it's illegal there to mess with the yellow tangs what'd you just show me jacks yeah, that thing is super cool. What do you think's inside of it? That is cool. That's mesmerizing. Let's check out the Alabama watersheds. Alabama is one beautiful state. I had no clue. Wow! The Hellamorites? What the Hellamorites is that? That thing is scary. Hell, am I right? How many more jokes do you want? None? Me too. That thing is... <laughs> my worst fear. 
The orange naked mucket. And then you got the red salamanders, yeah. Oh, oh wow, look at the piranhas. Do not touch. Okay. I don't know. They look like piranhas. They look like it could be in the piranha family. Oh look, it's a turtle. I love turtles. I think that's a painted turtle. Yeah, there's more. How neat. You wanna find out what type of fish these are? Alright, let's check up here. Oh, are those piranhas, Jax? That's right, they're bluegill. Oh, cool. Well, some of them are bluegill. What are they staring at? Are they watching a movie? They're looking at something. Maybe they're looking at all this jewel. Maybe they're looking at all this treasure. Yeah, maybe. And then there's just a bunch of turtles just swimming around. And here's a look from on top. That's gorgeous. Check it out. You've got the Nile tilapia right here. That's a tilapia? Yes, little lady. Yes, there's lots of fish. You found a whole gar? Oh yeah, look at you. You found the spotted gar. That's a largemouth bass. Maybe no, that's a catfish. The other ones are large large mouth basses. That's a largemouth. What? There's a stingray petting section oh over here. Oh my goodness. He told me to get the kids and let's go. Let's go, kids. We gotta go. Come on. All right, here we are in the tank area. We gotta go to the shallow side. So there's sharks and rays in here. I see them over there. And they did warn us that if you do have a seafood allergy, or shellfish allergy to be careful because there are remnants of their dinner and lunch in here. So always take caution. Oh, there it is. It came. He did tell us that they do like being pet. <laughs> Two fingers. All right, check this out. Welcome to an exploration of Alabama's many freshwater streams and lakes, a river journey. Alabama waters are remarkably, remarkable and beautiful treasures, which we did learn the other day. That waterfall we went to was absolutely amazing. While providing important habitats for plants and animals, they also offer valuable recreation opportunities for people, and they provide a variety of other resources, including drinking water and transportation. <laughs> All right, we're back here at this tank, and there's a lot more to see and do. Check out these turtles in the corner. Right above them, there's a duck. Over here, there's a goose. Right next to the goose, there's a deer. Right next to the deer, there's a squirrel. There is so much to see and do. Yeah, I saw that. Somebody was trying to fish. You'll see that out in the wild, too. There are so many cool animals in this. All right, next up in this area, the ocean journey. And boy, oh boy, do I love stuff like this. The fuzzy dwarf lionfish? Where is he? I don't see any fuzzy dwarfs. Oh, there it is right there. I was looking right at it and I didn't realize it. Wow, that thing is tiny. How beautiful. Beautiful, though. Not as beautiful as you, though. I'm going to keep on walking. Wow, but these angelfish right here. Oh, actually, they're called, they're called pennant coral fish. I was wrong. Wow, that thing is massive. Oh, look at the tiny little bluefish, the yellow-tailed damsel. And they've got a zebra eel here, eel here too. Does anybody see the zebra eel? I see it. You do? Where? Point it out. Do you see that light yellow? Oh, are you that? sure? Are you sure? Uh, Peekaboo! Ah, he got you. Where are you from? Oh, yes, I you've got to look hard. I see oh, good eyes, Jax. You did find him. There he is, just poking out at the bottom. All right, what else do we got? We got azure damselfish and pencil urchin in here, too. How neat. I see the pencil urchin. Do you? Uh -huh. Oh. Where, where, you? Maybe. I see a bunch of pencils. This is a trick car. I can't even see it. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. All right, over here we got the tropical Pacific. We've got the green chromis, a more pencil urchin, and the pajama spotted cardinal fish. Does anybody see the pajama spotted cardinal fish? Hi. Oh. <laughs> I see him, I see him. He's right there and right there. Oh, there's another one? There's one right here behind Oh, me. behind that one. Okay, very cool. All right, oh. next up, the Caribbean Reef. Hold on, save that excitement. We got Blue Reef Chromis, striped 
burrfish right, and babe. blue head yeah. wrasses. Watch his eyes. <gasps> babe, zoom in on his eyes. Uh, Look at him. Ew. <gasps> I thought that was a pufferfish. Is <laughs> it not? Oh yeah, no, it's, it's a burrfish, but it's probably a type of puffer. That's a blue leaf chromis. Oh wow, that yeah, right there, the chromis. And what's this little guy? No, that's a blue... He's just that's a, a blue head yeah, rat. He's, there for he's a normal fish. <laughs> that's, that's a blue leaf All right, this is what Evelyn's been dying to show us. Yeah, here in the Gulf of Mexico. They got pin cushion eel. Wow, that big yeah. old eel. What is that Good thing? fine. That's a green moray. Yes, that is a great moray. A green moray eel right there. And I've seen those in real life. I had one chase me at one time. They got Atlantic blue tangs. They got doctor fish. Thank goodness I need to see a doctor. Atlantic spade fish. The French angel fish. Some pork fish. I wonder what that tastes like. And some pincushion urchin. Do you see any pincushion urchins? I see. That is huge, huh? That thing is bigger than you. We just found out that you're three feet three inches. Oh, cool. There's a fish hiding back there. We see you. Another fish hiding back there. He's super shy. He just went right behind that big coral. Now, where in the world is that pin urchin? Yes, look for the pin cushion urchin. Mom says it's over there. What is that thing on That is a blue blob on my screen. That's all I see. Maybe he ate them all. Oh, hello! We got some damselfish. That is Atlantic Atlantic blue tangs. Fish. And check this out. While they're all mesmerized by that green moray eel, we're gonna look at some moon jellies. Wow, look at the differences in size. You got the big boys, and then you've got the tiny, tiny little ones up there. Moon jellies. So the moon jellies belong to a group of animals known as. Nidarians, I think the sea is silent, which also include corals and anemones. The diet of the moon jelly consists of plankton, which are tiny animals found in the water column. They become entangled in the jelly's tentacles and are brought to the mouth. The moon jelly is one of the most common jellyfish species in the world and has a very mild sting. Check it out over here. Jackson found the clownfish and the anemone. And who are these? Dorian Nemo. Dorian Nemo, look at that. And Marlin. Well, Neil found out how to Oh yeah, look at himself. that. He was playing with that anemone just a second ago. Look, they've got some urchins in here too. Those are pink Very cool. urchins. Oh Those yeah. Like type anemone. So Dory is actually a pelated or pelite surgeon fish. And of course you've got the clownfish or the acellarius clownfish. Hey, there's a matted file fish. Anybody see that? No. Oh, keep a lookout. And they've got the pin cushions, as Jackson said, and then the bubble tip anemone, anemone, anemones. Mememes. All right, let's it. let's oh, find it. that matted filefish. I see it. I see it. <gasps> oh, I see it too. Oh, do you see it? In the comment section below, let me know if you saw it. It's very, very hard to see. All right, we're back at the jellyfish because we just noticed that they changed colors. They're going through all the colors of the rainbow. How amazing! And we noticed something. These are the same jellyfish that we saw washed up on that beach that we went to, Siesta Beach. These are the jellyfish. They were moon jellyfish, which we discovered. We had to Google search it, and it finally took us, it took us many different turns, and many different pages to find what they were because it was so hard to see that Google Lens was having an issue, but we did eventually figure out that they were moon were jellyfish. They all and now here is confirmation that they're moon jellyfish. They're beautiful. Yeah, there's tiny, tiny, tiny ones. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking like all these little specks that are in there might be like little ones too. You never know. Yeah. I wonder if there's any more. Oh yeah, they're all down and up and around and they're all over. Oh wow, look, there's a big one over here. Oof, but looking in there, it's hurt my eyes. I know where there's a big moon jellyfish too. Yeah. Yeah. Big moon. All right, as much as we loved Ocean World, we were done with it. Now we're on level two, the itty bitty magic center. Man, these doors want to eat me. Ooh, this looks cool. Look at Jack's already finding the galactic center region. NASA's great observatories. That is beautiful. All right, so here we are at the itty bitty area, and this is for kids, little kids. There's tons for them to do and play with, and of course, if they end up putting stuff in their mouth, they do have yuck bags that you're supposed to put them in. Oh, wow, look at these cool little bits. Jackson's gonna absolutely love this. These are cool. We almost bought him some of these. They're rather expensive, though. 
hot spots for younger people, which we'll bring Baron here in just a second. Maybe Yasmin as well. They got a huge play area. Huge play area. Legos, that's pretty cool. Fire station, a miniature diner and kitchen area. All the kids love that stuff. Oh wow, I'm surprised nobody's over here at the pet and vet area. Little kids love being veterinarians. I know I do. Oh wow, this is super cool. That is awesome. Look at the x-rays. How neat. I wonder if those are real x-rays. Because it's kind of suspicious that they've got the picture and then the exact same x-ray right there. So that's a little sus to me. I would think the x-ray would be just slightly different. See, like they took a picture of this rabbit while he was jumping x-ray version. Same with that infant kangaroo. Mm, I'm not buying it, but this is still pretty neat for the kiddos. Oh wow, and just around the corner they've got, oh wow, that is cool, building on the walls like that. And they've got a water area, and then of course the air and ball launch area that you see at all these little kid areas. This is by far my favorite area so far. Check it out, you shove them in this one hole. There used to be more, but they're blocked off. Yes, yeah, shove them all in there, yes. They go through the tubes, and then, ah! This is pretty cool. Watch, watch my bracelet. Let's see. Uh oh, this is what happens in real life when you find a whirlpool. Whoop. All right, let's get a ball and see what it does. Show watch. everybody how a whirlpool works. Woo! Spin it around just like a toilet. <laughs> it poops. Poops it out right at the bottom. Oh no! Boop. All right, check this out. Jackson found some water-powered music. Oh wow! Oh, each lever does something different, huh? Oh, okay, you got your drums over there. I think this one did the... Oh, I don't think this one works. More drums. Oh, there's some blasters over here. I don't know how you get them to blast faster, though. You got it in there? Oh, okay. Think. I'm gonna so cold Think. Ding. There you go. Hey, look, there's one more right here, but the blasters aren't strong enough. I'd love to hit those. Cool. All right, we did discover that there is a bigger whirlpool area. You put a ball right there and you wait for it to get sucked in. There it goes. It shoots right up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I guess it falls. What it's supposed to do is come down to the mega cyclone. Then they all pop out down there like little eggs. And as I'm looking around, I found one, two, three of those stations. How cool, and they all do different tracks. This one, I don't know where that one comes from, but it drops right into this one, so I'll have to show Jax that. Look at this, you guys. So you put a little ball in there, yep, let it walk. shoot up, and then it goes up to the jungle gym. Put them in the little hole right there. Okay, Daddy's sending them all. And then you put them right through that hole and they drop down into the tornado. <gasps> this place is so cool. All right, the itty bitty area closed, but everything else is still open for a few more minutes. It is a quarter till five, so we have 15 minutes to explore the rest of the third floor and maybe potentially the fourth floor. If not, we'll probably just have to come back another time in another year because we're leaving Alabama real soon. Check this out. How much do you weigh? You weigh as much as a notosaur. No. Yeah, uh-huh, uh -huh. that's what it says. You weigh as much as a notosaur. Look, I almost weigh as much as that one. Oh, that's the one you almost weigh like, okay. Oh. Oh, but with all of you guys together. Oh no, this is your weight yeah, right here. Okay, weight. yeah. This is the dinosaur. Okay, oh, okay, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, let's go look at the dinosaurs. What you got? Oh, you're answering questions and you can barely read yet. Oh, that's probably why you have zero. But good job, proud of you for trying. We're gonna go explore the rest of this area. Wow, there's a dino race. Let's do it, dino race entrance. Oh, you gotta run from these big dinosaurs. You gotta pedal, pedal, pedal to run, run, run. Uh-oh, they're coming. Hurry up. Oh, he got you, he got you for sure. Yeah, you didn't even have a chance. All right, here you go, waiting for another racer. Three, two, one, go mama, go. Run, 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 that dino's coming. Wow, look at that little bar at the top. It is a Velociraptor. Wow, look at her go. She's killing. I've never seen her move so fast. You won. You beat the dinosaur. Good job. All right, so here's the Cretaceous birds of Alabama. Oh, my 
And these are the turtles of Alabama, the barrier, barrier island sea turtles of Alabama. And then we have the crocodilies right of Alabama, crocodilly of Alabama. All right, so this is a replica of our now modern day great white shark. And that's kind of cool. I don't know what is happening with his stomach, but that looks a little sketchy to me. All right, and this is an Allosaurus. And what noise do they make? <gasps> that is a scary dinosaur noise. We got the Al Pacino. Wow, he is a huge dinosaur. Look at its leg bones and its femur and its tibulus. Uh oh, the girls found the dino site where you dig and find all the dinosaur bones. Look at the. Tell me at home what this says. <laughs> Expiosis Oddix. <laughs> I nailed that one, huh? And look at all of the different fossils. That is amazing. And these are all fossils of the fish in Alabama. This is wild. Does anybody know what this is without looking at the name? These are more fossils of the Alabama dinos. These are so cool. Look at this Alabama. We got an Alabama dinosaur turtle. Turtle, turtle. We have Alabama turtle shells. All right, babe found us, ooh, a decomposition chamber. It's a rotting fish. There's a bunch of bugs and other types of creatures in there that are just eating this thing. <laughs> Look, they started in January and all but the head is gone. How crazy is that? That is nuts. Ew, that is so Can you gross. Smell it? Smell? I know, isn't that Thank wild? There's goodness. no smell. Oh, oh my gosh, Whoa. look how big those cockroaches are. The yeah, tank is dirty. Cool. They're Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Cool. And those things are huge. Ew, they're even making noise. This right here is your Alabama wild turkey. All right, and before we go, you guys, we need to check out the birds of Alabama. There's apparently a ton of birds here in the heart of Alabama. And we got one last bird. Him's the bald eagle. Check out this room right here. Check out all the animals that you can find here in Alabama, or at least in the Science Center. They've also got sharks. It shows the four counties here where these shark teeth were found, and you can actually find shark teeth here in Alabama. How wild is that? And check this out. A sure cure for every complaint. The history of quack medicines. We don't have time to go through everything, but look at how beautiful this room is. I love it. love it so much it gives me accent. I don't know why, but there's so much more here to see and do. So next time you're in Alabama and you just happen to be in the Birmingham area, make sure you come here. It is well worth the trip. All right, you guys. So... That's going to be it for this episode of Taking a Risk with the Risks. And if you liked the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure that your notifications are turned on. And make sure that you are not accidentally unsubscribed. I'm Miranda. Life's a lot more fun when you're taking a risk.